Welcome everyone, this is Zonta with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to work with and create an embedded schedule within a room schedule for furniture. Here I am in Revit 2019 and I have a Revit model created. In the project browser under schedules and quantities, I have a typical room schedule. If I open up that room schedule, we can see the room schedule has the room numbers and names and pertinent information. I can click over here in the properties panel, embedded schedule and click edit. And each time you click edit under any one of the features such as fields or filters, it will jump to that particular uh, tab. <clears throat> for this main schedule, you have for that room schedule, you have the name, the number, the level and so on, just like you see up here. In the far right hand side, you have embedded schedule tab. Click this tab and you can actually turn on this feature. <clears throat> Place a check mark and then specify what category you want to embed. So in this case, I'm going to click furniture and click embedded schedule properties. This will open up another panel and this particular panel controls all the data for that embedded schedule. So what do we want for our furniture schedule? typically things like the mark, the family and type, the count, the cost. I am double clicking to make it easier. Level and anything else that we want. On the right hand side, obviously we can sort them however we need to sort them. And then we have additional tabs as well. So if I click filter, we can specify a filtering condition. For example, that says maybe the if the level <clears throat> is equal to finished floor level one. What that means is that only the furniture that's on finished floor level one will be displayed for that embedded schedule. For now, I'm not going to put in a filter. We can click sorting and grouping and sort however we want that particular embedded data, such as mark, and then by level. And if we need to, we can specify totals as well. The formatting tab obviously gets into things such as how the data is placed in each of the cells, and things like calculating totals as well as field formatting. Perhaps we want to make sure it has the dollar symbol, and as well as the count. Now let's say for example for cost, we can specify conditional formatting as well, where if the cost is say less than a particular dollar amount, say $500, then we can flag and color the background color red. When I click OK to finish out, you'll see the schedule changes. And now you can see all of that data as well. Okay. If we head over to the Sheets All section and head over to our A501 schedules, we can see how that schedule has been updated on our sheet. Now obviously we need to you know, go ahead and format this particular schedule so that it fits nicely on a sheet of paper. Uh, but you get the gist of knowing how to create an embedded schedule of furniture inside a room schedule. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for visiting Reaper Products and watching our video. And don't forget, we are specialized in sales, training, and consultation for Autodesk software. We have multiple certified instructors and offer a ton of value. We also have a 3D laser scanning services division and we can take care of multiple services, for example, field laser and point cloud processing, as well as others. We have printing services. We have wide format equipment sales and service and supplies. We have Xerox office and production equipment sales and services. And we also have drone aerial imaging as well. So if you'd like to find out more information about Repo products and all the different services that are available, please visit our website or send us an email via marketing at repoproducts.com. Thank you very much for watching.